Cat Cat Cafe because I had been doing a lot of cat rescue work and of course just dreamed about being able to open up my own cat cafe. People come in from the public and they pay seven dollars an hour and they come back and they visit in the adoption center with the kitties. The kitties are free roaming. They live here 24-7. They have everything they need and um, the customers come and if they are not here to adopt then they can at least hang out with the kitties and get a little bit of kitty therapy. I'm always scared around cats because I'm afraid that they're going to scratch me. These cats are different from other cats because I huddle and I get to play with them and they make me feel safe now. It's a really amazing feeling to see the cats transform as well as seeing what it does for the people that come in. We create that environment of trust and they've had the chance to trust humans again. One of our favorite things that we do is all the events that we hold. Cat Fest was amazing. We had 36 cat adoptions and seven dog adoptions. I've never been to anything exactly like this. I, I like that it's really community-based and community-involved and kind of everyone's here hanging out. It's an awesome opportunity for people to come out and meet our animals as well as the other people that are here and doing the same. This poor kitty. Her name is I-10. We had a lady that had my number and she called me because a friend of hers was driving up and saw her running across I-10. Thankfully, the car's coming swerved from hitting her, but she's in the process of healing. She goes Wednesday for her surgery and they're going to remove her eye. They put me in touch with Michelle Hartsfield from Fat Cat Cafe. She talked me into fostering and I've been fostering ever since. That's one of the great things about this place is you can come in and meet the cats and you may have one that's super playful or you may have one that just wants to lay around and you can find the perfect match for you. When you meet the person that's going to adopt the animal, you get a, a feeling, you listen to their story and I listened to Samantha's story. And she <laughs> just four years ago when I lived in California, I was at a similar adoption event and I met this cat and I walked away from the cat at the time because I felt like maybe I wasn't ready or I was concerned that it wasn't the right time to get a cat and I have thought about that cat all the time. I regret walking away from a cat that I just felt like I had such a special connection with. This is the first time I've really felt that same feeling when I met Jasper today so I knew it was the right time and I knew I could not walk away um, and I did. I like put him down, I went to my car and then I just started crying. I was like I can't, you know, I can't do this to myself again and I knew that he was the one so I came back and I adopted him. One thing I liked about Jasper is that when I held him, he was just so much calmer than when other people were holding him. He was licking me and sniffing me, and I just felt like this cat understands me and you know is choosing me almost. It was a wonderful process to listen to her and to meet them and talk to them and to see what an emotionally sweet person she is. She's just got a great heart. But it is very emotional, and there are one or two that always just pull on your heartstrings a little bit more than the others. I know that I'm so invested in animals. I'm so invested in this cat already that I barely know. And I love understanding animals and their behaviors. And I just kept thinking to myself, like, I can give this cat the most amazing life. And so even though he was alone and he was by himself in that little pen, I wanted to be able to give him adventures and like give him that fun life experience. What I like about animals is that they're a lot more relatable than we realize. And I think that it's really valuable to have a connection with an animal because when you do have that moment, you just have unconditional love and support. And that's something we always don't find in other people that we're interacting with in our lives. And animals don't judge us. And I think that's the most important part.